Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we'll be discussing on ketamine. Chemistry Ketamine is the cyclohexanone derivative of fencyclidine, PCP, introduced in 1965. PCP is a veterinary anesthetic agent, also known as angel dust, which is a drug of abuse. The chemical name for ketamine is 2 o chlorophenyl 2 methyl amino cyclohexanone hydrochloride. Ketamine is water soluble. Concentrations available include 10 mg per mil, 50 mg per mil, and 100 mg per mil. Ketamine is isotonic and contains sodium chloride. The pH is 3.5 to 5.5. pKa is 7.5. Ketamine contains preservative benzatonium chloride at 0.1 mg per mil. Avoid its use in uraxial anesthesia. Ketamine consists of a racemic mixture of S dextro and R devo enantiomers. Compared with R devo ketamine, S dextro ketamine is 3 to 4 times more potent. Lower doses of S dextro ketamine is needed to induce anesthesia. It provides shorter recovery times and there are fewer psychotomimetic reactions. Mechanism of action Ketamine is an antagonist at the NMDA receptor at the calcium channel pore at serotoninergic, muscarinic, nicotinic, monoaminergic, and MOP receptors. Ketamine also inhibits sodium channels in neuronal tissues. High doses of ketamine has local anesthetic actions. The NMDA receptor is a L-glutamate receptor in the CNS. Glutamate is the major excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. It incorporates a cation channel which ketamine binds. Ketamine is also a partial agonist at the KOP and DOP receptors. Analgesic effects occur after intratecal or extradural injection at spinal KOP receptors. Ketamine reduces presynaptic glutamate release. Opioid effects of ketamine are not antagonized by naloxone. Pharmacokinetics Ketamine is very lipid soluble and weakly protein bound at 12%. Bioavailability for intramuscular injections of ketamine is 93%. Oral bioavailability is 20-25%. to Nasal bioavailability is 50%. Ketamine is metabolized by the liver via demethylation and hydroxylation. Active metabolites include norketamine, which has wanted the potency of ketamine, and dehydronorketamine, which is a weak NMDA antagonist. Further metabolism produces conjugates. 80% of conjugates are excreted in the urine as glucuronides. 2.5% of ketamine is excreted unchanged. Elimination half-life of ketamine is 2.5 hours. Pharmacodynamics For the central nervous system, ketamine produces dissociative anesthesia, which is a state of catalepsy. The eyes may remain open. However, there are no purposeful response to stimuli. Corneal and pupillary reflexes are preserved. The location of the dissociation is between the thalamus, which relays efferents from the RAS, and the cerebral cortex and limbic system. Excitatory effects is initiated at the thalamus and limbic system. This results in distorted central processing of efferent input at the thalamocortical and limbic levels. Efferent inputs remain unaffected. Ketamine also has amnesic actions. Ketamine is a potent analgesic at doses much lower than that required to induce anesthesia. Effect of ketamine on brain-damaged patients is less effective. Ketamine increases cerebral metabolism, cerebral oxygen consumption, cerebral blood flow, and intracranial pressure. However, there are no effects on autoregulation of cerebral blood flow. Emergence delirium can occur with ketamine, characterized by disorientation, restlessness, agitation, the patient may act aggressively to minor stimuli such as light and sound. Ketamine can cause dysphoria. Hallucinations and vivid nightmares can occur up to 24 hours after ketamine administration. However, this is less common in children and elderly. Measures to attenuate the effects of emergence delirium and hallucinations include avoid verbal and tactile stimulation during the recovery period, usage of benzodiazepines, Opioids, physiostigmine, and butyrophenones can help. Ketamine causes various EEG changes such as loss of alpha rhythm and predominant theta activity. Cardiovascular system. Ketamine is a sympathomimetic. It increases circulating catecholamines. Ketamine has a direct myocardial depressant effect. 
indirect effect on the myocardium from ketamine causes increase in heart rate by 20%, increase in blood pressure by 25%, increased cardiac output, increased myocardial oxygen consumption, positive inotropy due to increased calcium influx mediated by cyclic adenosine monophosphate, and increased sensitivity to adrenaline. Ketamine causes reduced sympathetic stimulation to the peripheral circulation resulting in vasodilation in tissues with alpha-adrenergic receptors and vasoconstriction in vessels with beta-adrenergic receptors. Respiratory system. Ketamine is a respiratory stimulant. Transient apnea is followed by well-maintained ventilation. Ketamine has bronchodilatory effects. There is preservation of laryngeal reflexes and tone in the upper airway. However, this is not always true, especially at higher doses of ketamine. For the gastrointestinal system, ketamine increases salivation administer an anticholinergic to counteract this effect. Ketamine causes increased nausea and vomiting due to its sympathomimetic actions. There is increased muscular tone. Spontaneous movements may occur. For the uterus and placenta, ketamine crosses the placenta. Fetal concentrations equal that of the mother's. Ketamine causes increased intraocular pressure. Eye movement may persist. Onset and duration. The onset for IV administration, consciousness will be lost after 1 to 2 minutes, which is more than one arm brain circulation time. Some books state that anesthesia is induced in 30 to 60 seconds. The patient may continue to move and make incoherent noises. The onset for IM administration is 10 to 15 minutes. Some books state that the onset is 3 to 4 minutes for IM root. Duration of action for IV root is 10 to 15 minutes and 15 to 25 minutes for IM root and can last up to 40 minutes. Amnesia persists for up to 1 hour after recovery of consciousness. Doses For IV induction, the dose is 1 to 2 mg per kg. For the IM route, the dose is 5 to 10 mg per kg. For pseudoanalgesia, up to 0.5 mg per kg can be administered. For IV infusions, up to 50 mcg per kg per minute can be administered. The dose for sacral extra dural block in children Addition of 0.5 mg per kg with local anesthetics will increase the duration of the LA by 4. Due to concerns about neurodevelopmental toxicity, avoid use via this route in young children aged 3 or less. The dose for nasal and oral routes is 6 to 10 mg per kg. The rectal dose for ketamine is 10 mg per kg. Dose regimens for pain syndromes are varied and complex. Patients with CRPS have been treated by infusions of 0.1 to 0.2 mg per kg per hour over 5 days. Unique effects of ketamine includes analgesia, amnesia, dissociative anesthesia rather than general CNS depression. The s isomer of ketamine has fewer side effects. Clinical uses of ketamine includes induction of anesthesia in adults and children. It is especially useful in the shock patient. Field anesthesia as a single anesthetic agent outside the hospital for bronchodilation, such as in severe bronchospasm in bronchial asthma, for pseudoanalgesia during procedures performed under local or regional anesthesia, for neuraxial anesthesia extradurally or intratically, use preservative free formulations. Ketamine prolongs the duration of analgesia provided by local anesthetics by three to four times. Avoid its use in young children due to concerns for neurotoxicity. Ketamine can be used as a co-analgesic at a dose of 0.15 to 0.35 mg per kg. A single sub-anesthetic dose of ketamine has antidepressant actions, which is immediate and long-lasting. Adverse effects of ketamine include emergence delirium, nightmares, hallucinations, hypertension, tachycardia, prolonged recovery, salivation, increased ICP and allergic reactions. Absolute contraindications for ketamine includes airway obstruction and raised ICP. Relative contraindications includes cardiovascular disease such as hypertension, ischemic heart disease and heart failure. Frequent procedures requiring repeated administration. This results in prolonged recovery and disrupts sleep and eating patterns. Ketamine suppresses poorly pain originating from visceral stimulation and opioid supplementation is necessary. For outpatient anesthesia, ketamine can prolong recovery and result in emergence adverse effects. Ketamine compared with other induction agents. Ketamine has anesthetic, amnesic and analgesic actions. 
Ketamine is a sympathomimetic which increases catecholamines, cardiac output, and systemic vascular resistance. Ketamine is a respiratory stimulant and preserves laryngeal reflexes and tone of the upper airway. Ketamine causes bronchodilation by antagonizing the effects of acetylcholine and serotonin at the bronchial tree. R-levoketamine has better anti-muscarinic effects than S-dextroketamine. Ketamine has multiple routes of administration apart from the IV route such as rectal, intramuscular, oral, nasal, extradural, and intratecal. Ketamine can be used in patients with porphyria, however with caution. Ketamine is associated with severe bladder damage when used abusively. Urinary ketamine and its metabolites can result in ulcerative cystitis and irreversible fibrosis due to chronic inflammation and may necessitate total cystectomy. These are my references. Thank you.